In this session, I will show that the average kinetic energy of a gas molecule in motion within a container is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. So we are going to show this from the expression of kinetic pressure. We know that from kinetic pressure expression, which is the pressure of an ideal gas is going to be equal to a third times the density of that gas times the velocity squared, which velocity is generated by C. We go ahead and break this expression down. That is going to become P is going to be equal to a third times the density. We know that density is equal to mass over volume, capital M being the total mass of all the particles in the gas times C squared. Now this capital M can be broken down into small m. The capital M which so happens to be the mass of all the particles in the gases can be broken down into small m which small m represents the mass of every individual particle multiply that by capital N which so happens to be the total number of particles. So when you get the total number of particles capital N multiply it by the mass of each individual particle which is small m m small m times times capital N will give us capital M which so happens to be the mass of the all the particles. So that is the explanation for this step. Of course, this is over V times C squared, the third remains times V. So we get this V and multiply it on both sides. When you multiply V on both sides, this side will remain with PV is going to be equal to a third N times M times C squared right there. And therefore, this comes to this now. Again, we are seeing that this is M c squared this mc squared resembles kinetic energy expression we know kinetic energy is going to be a half times mass times velocity squared and here we are only having this part of mc squared so to make this expression look like kinetic energy of the particles we are going to multiply half on both sides so in our next expression this is mc right there which is there we are going to include a half right there and a half here. We multiply a half on both sides so that we're able to get the expression for kinetic energy right there. So this is going to become, so where there is a half mc squared, we put there kinetic energy. This is the value of n right there. This is a third. It's going to be equal to PV times a half. Of course, the a half is still right there. So where there is a half mc squared, we put there kinetic energy and uh, we multiply the half on both sides. So this two, to remove it from this side, we multiply two on both sides times two, so that this two goes with that two and remain with PV alone on this side. So we have PV alone on this side going being equal to a third N times that times two. Of course, these two, we can afford to put that two right there. So this becomes two thirds N times the kinetic energy. Now, but we know that P times V is going to be equal to nRT, and that is the expression for the ideal gas. So where there is PV, we put N times R, which is the molar gas constant, times the absolute temperature. So PV, we put it right there, that nRT, where in the place of PV, we substitute it with nRT, and that is how this first this step translates to this one. It becomes N times capital R times T is going to be equal to, this becomes 2 thirds times capital N, which happens to be the number of particles, times the kinetic energy. But we know that this small n, this number of number of moles is given by the total number of particles in the gas, divide that by the Avogadro's law. Now the number of moles in the gas can also be given by capital N, which is the total number of particles in the gas, divide that by the number of particles in one mole of a gas, which so happens to be Avogadro's number. So the, this small n, which represents the number of moles, can be represented by this. So we substitute for n, where there is n, we put this expression. So that is what how this step translates to that, that cap small n, we put n over n subscript a, which is this expression, times r, times t is going to be equal to two thirds. This right here is two over three. Multiply that by capital N times the kinetic energy. And so when we make T the subject of the formula, we make T the subject of the formula by, you, you find that uh, we multiply, we, we get rid of this, all these other things. Because remember, we are trying to show that the average kinetic energy of a gas molecule in motion 
within a container is directly proportional to the absolute temperature so we need to keep temperature make the temperature the subject of the formula now when you make temperature the subject of the formula multiplied na on both sides when you multiply times na times na on both sides this goes with that that's how you end up with na here then you divide both sides by cap by capital n by capital n so that this n dies with that n and of course when you come this way this capital n dies with that capital n and that's how this goes then to remove this value of r here you divide both sides by r here and by r there so that this r goes with that r and at the end of the day in our next step you remain with capital t is going to be equal to two thirds this is supposed to be two thirds two thirds multiply that by avogadro's number which is that one we had multiplied divide that by capital r which is that times the kinetic energy so you realize that all these two thirds avogadro's constant that's the constant this is r it's a molar gas constant this is a constant also so you may realize that all these three are constants so since they are constants it means that we can we can they can all be expressed in terms of k just a constant so to remove this equal signs you realize that we introduce introducing a proportionality sign you realize that temperature t is directly proportional to kinetic energy or therefore kinetic energy is directly proportional to temperature it's the same thing kinetic energy of course is a half mc squared is directly proportional to temperature we can stop here we can stop there we can either way the thing here is that we have been able to show that the average kinetic energy of a gas molecule in motion within a container is directly proportional to the absolute temperature This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. For Kisembo Academy, this is Anwar Rangakuramia helping you manifest excellence.